Okay, picture this. You have your whole family over for a special dinner. And you lean over to get the salt, and oh my gosh, you knock your glass of red wine all over your mother's heirloom tablecloth. You know the one that's worth, uh, oh, about 300 bucks? Well, as we all know, red wine is one of the worst stains to try to remove. Well, don't panic. All is not lost. Soak up as much of the wine as you can with a paper towel. And then, when your guests have gone, remove the tablecloth and go and fetch the borax. Now, borax is one of the most useful stain removers you could possibly have in your home. You'll see it cropping up a lot in our books as a cleaning remedy for everything from drains to bathtubs to even toilet bowls. It's been around since the early 1800s, but people have forgotten how good it really is. What with all the fancy cleaners on the market with colorful packaging and clever advertising? Anyway, here's what you do to remove that red wine stain. Fill a container with water hot enough to put your hand in without burning yourself. Now, I usually do this in my laundry tub, but I'm using this bowl here to show the transformation better. Now, you can do it in whatever you want. Then you just pour in a few tablespoons of borax into the water, and then you smoosh it around till it's all dissolved. Now, borax has amazing properties like restoring colors that have run in the wash and even cleaning carpet stains like pet accidents, would you believe? Now, if you don't have any at home, go out and get it. You can usually find it in the laundry section of your supermarket. Now, once it's all mixed in, you then simply take the item like this. Let's get rid of the paper there. Now you see the stain. You put it in the solution, smoosh it round a bit like this, and now you don't see the stain. You've just rescued what could have been an expensive heirloom tablecloth, or an expensive dress for that matter, in a matter of seconds. And by the way, this works on old as well as new wine stains. Of course, with the older stains, you may have to soak it in the borax solution for a bit longer, but isn't that an amazing product? I just love it. <laughs> okay, now, let's just put this aside. Now, if you have children, you'll be able to identify with this next stain, the grape juice stain. I don't know whether it's the dye in it or the grapes or what, but one thing I do know, it's almost impossible to remove. Usually the only solution is to uh, turn your child's grape-stained t-shirt into an expensive dust cloth. Before you do that, try using the same method that I used on the red wine stain. You take a bowl of water to which you've added a few tablespoons of borax, like this here. Now, you're not going to believe how easy this is. You then take the stained shirt and you simply See the stain on there? You dip it into the solution, like so. Smoosh it around a little bit in there, like that. And then a little bit more there. And then we take out a clean shirt. Is that amazing or is that amazing? <laughs>